Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and today I want to talk about gearbox fixing. And that is how the cross members, uh, which are laid out here in front of me, actually attach to the MGBs and how you get everything straightened out. Let's start with the earliest style. This is the earliest style cross member. The mount itself can only go into one hole. There's only one hole allowed. That's pretty easy. And there's a um, a stay rod here to keep the engine and gearbox assembly from shifting back and forth. Now that stay rod fits into the gearbox right here. You can see how, how that fits in like that. And there's a bolt down there. I brought the bolt along to show you. Here's the bolt. It's got a funny lipped a washer on the end of it so it only can fit in one way it's shouldered and uh, and that's that's uh, 63 through 67 right so that's that's the setup that's pretty easy now at some point in the future I'm not sure if it's 68 onwards or whether it picks up a little bit later than that we end up moving from a singly attached um, I mean one position here that we can make for the gearbox mount and we have a choice you can see perhaps if we can get right down in here we can see, that, see there's an extra hole here so we know that these mounts can either sit fore or aft on the, on the uh, gearbox cross member now this starts to get complex this is added on, I think, 74 and a half through 80. This rod, this one's bent, maybe from a collision. This again is to keep the uh, gearbox secure, just as the earlier style was, which the middle ones, 68 through 74, were not. And this this guy is run off off the front uh, of the cross member, whereas on the earlier one, it goes through the hole in the back and fits onto this uh, attachment in the back. They both use the same pads, interestingly, and the same, uh, and the same uh, metal plates against those pads, whether it's the, the old or, or the new combination. But now the question comes, does the cross member go this way or this way? That's two choices. Do the mounts go in the front or the rear holes that's two choices. Now we've got a total of four choices. When we put this guy on, does this go this way or this way? Now we've got four choices. That makes it uh, or two more choices. It makes a total of eight. And does this go this way or that way? And that gives us a total of 16 combinations, which will drive the amateur um, MG enthusiast absolutely crazy trying to figure out how his car is supposed to fit. Well, again, the earlier ones are easy. Those fit up pretty straightforward. Let's look at the rear one, at the late model one, I mean. If it's a standard gearbox, these mounts go in the front. If it's an overdrive, these mounts go in the rear. Standard front, overdrive rear. Now let's take a look at, did I say that right? Yes, standard front, overdrive rear. Now let's take a look at this guy. Okay? He fits in like this. Right? With the he fits in like this, excuse me. So that our our kick back here is towards the rear. So that if it is an overdrive, you've got some room in here to maneuver to get the bolts in. So the flat side goes in front, and the bottom then sits. As, as, it, uh, as it would naturally hang and you can figure out which way to put, put the bottom in although you can see that the bolts are offset to the front and this is the um, uh, for a standard gearbox this is the proper assembly now when you go to put this together I always put the mounts on snugly first then I put these bolts through the bottom um, the bolts that attach into here 
I use, I use some long bolts and I also put this into the vise and squeeze it just a little bit with a vise because even though the holes are slotted on the bottom side of this cross member, see they're, uh, one of them slotted, maybe they're slotted by hand. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to beat up uh, Trevor there with a the camera. Um, getting, getting this thing started back in can be a, just a real bugger. Uh, anyway, squeeze this just a little bit, get your, get your bolts started uh, through here, but leave this guy all loose. And then, and then put in your coarse thread bolts, 5 16 18 coarse thread bolts, uh, and start, always start the most difficult ones first. It always helps if you've chased the threads in the gearbox first to make sure those threads are nice. And it also helps sometimes if you put a point on the bolt, putting them through, and attach this to the gearbox first, then jack up the uh, rear end of the gearbox, and then go ahead and make your mounts here with the with the larger bolts. So this is specifically uh, this this instruction here is specifically for a guy from I don't know Texas, someplace who's driven himself and his wife crazy trying to get the right combination of of uh, back and forth on all these pieces. Uh, Trevor and I are going to walk over to the cars and just take a look at them so you can see how this is done. Here we have the overdrive gearbox and of course it's hard to see what's going on here but if I put my finger up in here I can feel that the, that the uh, front bolt hole is empty so the gearbox, gearbox mounts are at the rear position and you can see that the front of this guy is flat on the front of the gearbox. So that's the way that this guy goes in and then this of course mounts just just the way that it happens to mount. So this is the overdrive with the with the mounts uh, going through the rear hole. Let's take a look at, uh, this is a 73, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the 69 and see how, how that does. Here's the 69, now this one's showing this is the one that came up from North Carolina. This is showing a lot of uh, a lot of fatigue here in these mounts. But these mounts, I put my finger back here, and these mounts are in the front hole. But again, our our intermediate piece here has the flat side on the front. So this is the difference between the two mountings of these gearboxes. For a, a uh, standard gearbox these mounts up here go in the front holes on an overdrive they go in the rear. I know somebody's going to write on MGB experience and say oh this guy doesn't know what he's talking about but this is my experience here today and it sure gives you a pretty good view of, of what to look for. Anyway that's the scoop from University Motors today Friday the second day of the year and this year will just absolutely must be better than last year. At least we'll all we'll all pray so. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you guys later.